We're going to start on the table saw by ripping a piece of plywood down to the correct width. Once we're done with that, we're going to switch over to the crosscut sled and going to make some repeatable cuts. I want these squares to be square. I have a little stop block set up over here and we're just going to cut, 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 cut. I'm taking one of the off cuts and applying downward pressure. That way the board doesn't walk on me. I'm just going to take a ruler and go corner to corner, mark a line, and that's going to be your center point for every square. I have a little circle cutting jig that I like to use. Uh, it doesn't work as well as I would like. See, one of the cutters walked on me. So that's not ideal for this situation. We're gonna go to the scroll saw and just trace the circle that we cut out. Now we're going to cut the four posts out of this brass rod. I'm using an angle grinder so that I can deburr each of the rods. I put a little chamfer on each one, it helps slide through the wood better. Now I'm just marking the placement for each corner post. I have a little center punch that I use so that the drill bit won't walk. I set a depth stop on the drill press so I only go in a little bit on the base. For the other pieces, I just drill a through hole for each corner. Now we're going to work on staining the wood. I just use a chip brush and brush it on. Make sure to get it in the end grain really well. Since it's textured, it's hard to get it in all the little crevices. Now I'm just going to wipe off the excess. And there you go. I'm going to finish the wood with a few coats of spray polyurethane. I'm using 5 minute epoxy and we're going to mix it up with a toothpick that way we can put it in each of the tiny holes. This is 5 minute epoxy so I have to be very fast here. I'm securing the base with the four posts and I'm using a spacer for each layer. I'm just going to pound each of the pieces down with my mallet. So we have a little bit of brass that's sticking up the top, but we're going to take care of that later on the belt sander. I'm just removing the spacers now.
and here we are in the belt sander. Brass is pretty soft, so it, it knocks it down really quick. I went a little too deep, so we're just touching up uh, with some of the excess stain that was left over in the brush. Just wipe it off, and you're good to go. All right, I just wanted to talk about the finished product here. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The only thing is that when I was putting the epoxy in the holes and pushing the wood down over the rods, I wasn't working fast enough. So the epoxy kind of dried and it kind of delaminated one of the pieces of the plywood. Other than that, pretty happy with it. I like the end grain of the plywood kind of uh, set off with the brass rods. It's pretty cool. This is not the first design. This is kind of like the second uh, improved design. The first one I cut out of some old barn wood and I used plywood uh, spacers in here. It was a little too tall so the kind of, the pins kind of you know disappear. You can't really see what's in there and also the hole was a little bit too uh, small as well. I wanted a bigger hole that's why I went with this one. Had some trouble in the video as you could see but Overall, I think it turned out right. I was kind of uh, influenced by the uh, Fifth Element uh, stones uh, in the movie. They have like different uh, carvings in the side, you know, for the different elements. And I think it kind of got that feel from the first one. The second one, not so much. Looks a little different, but uh, yeah, I don't know.